All right. All right, so ready to go when you are, Monk. Take it away. Yeah, go ahead. All right, um, while we're, we're loading, just some general things about Swan. He's, um, if you don't have a build for him, he's like probably the most difficult commander to play. So he relies on knowing the next step every single um, minute of the game, basically. Um, and basically optimizing, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of optimization, whereas like a commander like Kerrigan, she can just rely on her hero. Exactly. So this, is a, this is a solo of uh, Swan, so um, pretty generic here. Um, this is going to be a Protoss. Uh, for this solo, it actually doesn't matter which Protoss we're going to do, because um, even if they're air, they're ground, uh, it's all the same. Yeah. Um, Protoss is easy because uh, the defenses on the map are easy. It's not necessarily the units are easy. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, so uh, I expand like pretty much how you expand. I um, one to two SCVs on a depot, and then I put four on a factory, mm -hmm. and then I set all four of them to build two turrets at the um, at the natural. So what I've always done, which may or may not be actually better for minerals, is I leave fourteen on my main, and mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, every time after 14 is when I send a second or send extra SCVs over to my factory and then to my expo. But you actually right. pull them all right away. Yeah, the, re the reason for that is um, um, if you pull them all right away, you get your second command center faster. So that means you get your uh, first and second wave of saturation at your natural faster. Okay. Um, plus you're producing SCVs faster at your natural. So... In total, you actually get more income, even though you have fewer SCVs in your main now. Sure. Uh, no. Uh, just to, when I, and again, you probably have the better optimization here, but whenever I do it, I can make my first two turrets immediately, but it seems like you still end up getting the rocks down faster. And um, you end up, do you still do these 75% damage on the rocks? Mm. Right. It's, it's a little more. Um, so, so can you pause for a second? Yeah, of course. Two, two things. Um, I lifted my factory to the front. Which is, what which, I was which is here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and second thing is um, I salvage my second uh, turret when the rocks are about 90% done. So at 90%. Okay. Yeah. So that means if you if you look at my money right now, yeah. I have almost, after the turret is salvaged, I have almost exactly enough money to, Perfect. Yeah. Uh, to make that command center. And then my four extra SCVs from my main will be coming mm -hmm. um, to help that along. Uh, and you bring it down to 12, not 14. Yeah. Um, okay. That's partially because um, at, to get the CC faster, and also because um, um, it, it, if you keep just rallying to the respective uh, expansions, um, it comes out more evenly. Like, yeah. if you just keep building SCVs, you'll like saturate your main and your natural around the same pace. Sure. Um, I'm not actually sure what the the optimal like SCV count is, but it's like it's between like seven and nine probably. On the on the on the natural. Yeah, on, the, on the, uh, how many to send to the natural, basically. Oh, okay, to I make get, it so I, that you get at the same time. Oh, I get you, I get you, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, right, so I'm going to build a commander, and we can start again. Cool, ready to go. I'm going to go back to your view. Okay, so the next thing I do differently is I'm going to speed build my first gas. Um, okay. You're going to see. And the reason for that is because um, speed building doesn't cost money. Yes. And the faster you get your gas... Uh, down the faster you can put a drone on it and that's just free gas sure um but because i speed build it i don't have enough money for my remaining gas so i'm going to get them one by one but i'm going to speed build all of them okay um another reason i have my factory up here is it can tank some damage um so i'm going to let it tank some damage then lift it and then pop it back down okay um, and that delays it uh, that delays the this wave enough so that um, they won't like hit my command center as much, so I can use Ares on it. Okay, okay. So I'm um, uh, one by one. I'm getting all the um, all the gas. And I hope I. Uh, I droned this gas at my, in my main, because it doesn't look like I did. 
Uh, you did not put a Vespian drone on it, but... Yeah, I hope just... I do that eventually, but it's, uh, I beat this mission anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Um, so right now, I'm building an add-on. I'm building a starport next to this factory. I'm going to lift my factory and build another add-on for it. So I basically don't waste any time with my starport. Okay. Um, because I'm not, I don't have enough money yet for, to, to like make anything anyway. Yeah, there's no point. Out of my factory. So sure. So what's the point of leaving an item? Um, so all these, both, both these structures are in the front, so they can reinforce faster, basically. Yeah. Um, and again, like I mentioned, I'm not going to build any anti-air for the beginning of the game because uh, Ares, and the combination of Ares and laser drill, and sometimes it radiates, um, just solos any air units. Um, so, so all my all I'm doing right now is um, tanks. I'm gonna build a hearth pretty soon. Um, keeping my money low is really important. Mm -hmm. uh, so my goal it depends on the map, but the goal should be to get between two to eight tanks with a hearth. Um, generally, the, the number is closer to eight. Yeah. Um, and then after that, you switch to mass Goliath production to shore up your air, because that's around when your second Ares bots will die, mm -hmm. and you actually need anti-air. Sure. Um, and after that time, you want to speed build your armory and upgrade your build, because around that time is when like the harder waves are going to start coming, um, and you're going to need like uh, you're going to need your cooldowns in order to um, defeat them. Sure. No, so just. Uh, some micro. And you're using your factories and stuff in the front to right. tank things. Right. You come pretty close to losing that factory, but just because you're pulling enough aggro, it's not going to end up dying. Right, right. Nice, nice. So I'm still going to keep pushing. So no glide still. Um, and generally, you want one guy building depot at all times. If you do that, then you won't have any problems. Now, if you end up getting your second factory, then you're going to need to start building two at a time. Uh, um, sort of. Um, because there's kind of a lull. Like, when you're building your second factory, there's kind of a lull when you're producing it. So you actually, you can generally, like, keep it at one if you forget. But I always forget, so. Okay, so if you're continuing to build during the lull, you should be yeah. have enough supply depots already ready right. to go to be able to right. kind of push you through the end of the mission. Right, so here, look, I'm building a speed building an armory and I'm gonna speed build my second factory. So I'm just um, I'm just trying to get the, the Goliaths, uh, like ramp up my Goliath production as much as possible. And I'm gonna upgrade my drill and my plus one as soon as possible. Um, see, now I'm supply block because I wasn't building. Uh, yeah, I saw that, that's okay. Yeah. Now you got two supply depots going, and you are speed. You were speed building. No, you you were just regular building those. Yeah, you were just regular building those. Yeah. Um. So now, um, you want to switch to all, uh, all Goliath. Yeah. I mean, basically, once you get um. And so, are you just control clicking your tanks in order to pick them up, or do you you don't have them on a control group, right? No, I don't have. I just box them. Yeah. Right, so. Your goal now is you want to get um, you you want to after you get these eight tanks in a hearth you um and two science vessels, you want to ramp up to four science vessels with the uh, defensive matrix. With defensive attack. matrix, right. Uh, very important because if you don't, then you'll either lose glides or you have to spend gas to rebuild your tanks. Yeah. Yeah, speedrunning and solo is requires a lot of work. I'm talking to someone in chat. It's a lot of work. Oh, what's going on, Seahorse? I'm just I just know she came out. And uh, Monk might be doing some questions afterwards, so if you guys have any good ones, please make sure to think about them while we're going over this. Right, so just attacking and stuff. Yeah. Um, I get the plus one attack, um, and during regular missions, you have eight gas instead of four gas with drones, or in my case, I have three gas, because I'm bad. Um, <laughs> so you can afford, like, more uh, armories, um, and you can upgrade more things, but the attack upgrades are generally the most important upgrades. Sure. So, uh, be really careful to, to use defensive okay. matrix, and, and to lure units in and out. So I don't think I lose any units here with the push, um, just because of careful use of defensive matrix. Sure. Uh, no, I'm going to lose him. Okay. Lock and load. It's time to clear 
two attacks. Um, more defensive nature. And generally, you, you can get up to like six or eight, but for like this kind of run, um, four is more than enough. Uh, you're talking about science vessels. Science vessels, right? Yeah. And again, I still only have eight tanks, and I'm not going to make any more tanks for the rest Which you really of don't need. Yeah. Um, depending on the map, uh, depending on the mission, um, and depending on the unit enemy unit comp, um, you can get more. Um, but again, like they have diminishing returns after the first eight because uh, because uh, they're just harder to control if you have more than one hook. Sure. So, this is uh, the final area. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, so uh, I was gonna say, for mastery points, you go for combat drop duration and life. You go yeah. for Vespian drone cost, and you yeah. you must go for. Um, if, I mean, doesn't the, the middle one doesn't necessarily matter because you don't make as many turrets. You don't make really make any turrets at all. But would you go for the um, yeah, immortality protocol? Re revive. Yeah, the revive. To just in case you lose something, you want to be able to get it back as soon as possible and, and not you're ruin always, your guys. You're always gonna lose them. Yeah. Um, um, so notice, like, I don't upgrade the third level of drill because it's a speed run that I don't need it. Yeah, exactly. Um, but generally, you would right now. Um, and even though I only have eight tanks, they're just, like, killing all the ground. Really, really fast. Ground. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and in terms of control groups, um, notice I, my control groups are just the Herc, or, like, if I get more Hercs and more tanks, then I'll put all the Hercs on one control group. Mm -hmm. And then my second control group is Science Vessels and Goliaths. Sure. And Thor's if I eventually get them. Yeah. So I found that sometimes it's easier for me to have all of my tanks and my Hercules on the same control group so that I can right click at Hercules if I need to put them inside the Hercules or I can, you know, get back and forth between however it's going to work best for me. Uh -huh. I don't know if necessarily other people might find that as useful, but sometimes it helps. I think you can probably do this run about 30 seconds faster. Yeah, maybe. You know what's nice? No, you go ahead. You go first. I was going to say, I, I lost some of the Ares, and I didn't push like as quickly with them as I could have. Yeah. Um, and that, that annoying gas, I guess. Yeah. Um, and so let me ask you this. Do you prioritize the Goliath attack a ground and air upgrades at the same time ability? Uh, I think I prioritize the range ability. But right, it, first. Yeah, but it doesn't like it doesn't really matter too much because by the time that you have more than like, so so the reason I prioritize the range ability is actually not for the like the attacking power, but just to keep them safe. Yeah. Because um, at that point, like when both upgrades are done, you're gonna have like four to six goliaths, so like it doesn't too, matter too much. But when you have two goliaths and they don't have as much range, they tend to like just walk into the enemy and like, sure. kill themselves. We also think too, um, it's very helpful to get the range upgrade for the anti-air because you're go you have your tanks for all the anti-ground. That's right. like the really important thing, and they're going to destroy everything on the ground. But then you want your Goliaths to be able to kill anything in the air, right. and that's what they are able to do. So you can basically almost have the exact same range on both. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Well, is there anything else you wanted to say about this? Um, no, it's just mostly having a clean build is the most important part. Sure. Just want, just want to reiterate that. And, yeah. Uh, her tank is good. Sure. And, you know, once you know your build, and I think that's a big thing, once you know your build, it actually requires less APM than you think. Yeah, um, like, I, I have pretty low APM. Like, you can check my APM uh, on this. I, I, I just text it out. The replay. Yeah, I so did I. <laughs> no, no uh, you can still do it. Oh, you can still do it, right? Oh, you, you. I, no, I edited it out, yeah. Right. I mean, I can load it up, but anyways, yeah, you don't actually need as much APM as long as you know what you're. As long as you know the next step, the next step, the next step, which was the biggest iteration you said in the beginning, was make sure that you get that. Mm -hmm. Definitely, that's good. That's good. All right. Well, um, I'm definitely gonna try to go back to uh, Swan doing the full clear. But thanks for the little bit of info. That helps a lot. Right. Um, so, um, so for the route on that map, um, what you do is you can get. You can push the bonus with your first two to four tanks, mm -hmm. and you, you can have all the bonuses, all, all, all the units um, in the bonus cleared by the time the second bots come. Mm -hmm. And then what you want to do is, um, after the second bot waves are all done, you want to push to the left mid, 
So it's the it's the area between the first and the second bonus. Okay, okay. And then you from there you go all the way right to the rightmost bot place. The third set of bots, the the second the the third set of bots but the one closer to the right. And you can clear all of that before um um before the waves come if you play optimally. Okay, so just to just to be as clear as possible on this, um, right. at, at, before the second wave, you're going to use yes. your your tanks to clear yes. the bonus. After right. so the second bot waves, you're going to then take your tanks north from yes. that second area to um, the what is it the fourth fourth bot wave area, the way yeah, the between fourth, the fourth bot wave area, yes. The far left side of the fourth bot area. And then you yes. go through the entire fourth bot area to the right. Yes. So you're going to basically be clearing everything except for that fifth bot area. Right. After so, the second bot wave before the third set of bots. Right. And okay. then um, what you want to do is um, you want to push up on the right side. Okay. So, so that, that is the entire fifth bot area. Yeah. So... By the time you're so after the third set, which is then because you're going to need to take care of that third set. After the third set is where you clear the fifth bot area, right? And then, do you wait until after the fourth to clear the um, the enemy base? No, you uh, push into the enemy base between the uh, between the third and fourth wave. Um, between the third and you, fourth. Okay. Yeah, and you have to remember to save your. Uh, the, what's the nuke called? Uh, solar pulse or pulse cannon? The pulse cannon. Pulse cannon. Yeah, you want to save that for the wave that spawns at fifteen thirty. Okay. That's like the hard, That's a, like one of the hardest waves on the map. Sure. Besides okay. the last wave. Okay, that's that's some good stuff here. Um, okay, so one last bit of clarification. So the third bot wave before the third bot wave you want to have the fourth area cleared after the third bot wave you want to have the fifth area cleared and you want to start pushing the enemy right. base right uh, but you're not going to clear the enemy base by that time because you still need to deal with the fourth bot wave and then after that you can hopefully take care of the bonus right. and the and the enemy base right so you can probably have over half the um main the huge base cleared between the third and fourth bots yes between the third and fourth bots. Okay. And um, for that mission, when there's a lot, there's a lot of waves coming from a lot of implications. It's a little different than uh, Void Thrashing. Do you have more Hercules so you can pick up your entire army? No. Uh, if if you if you're more familiar with the map, you know where the waves are. Going exactly. To yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's still also, some RNG to it because you know, like the third bot wave does have different areas where they come from. But yeah. And also, um, you want to have static defense as well. Okay. Yeah, um, um, especially when you're when you're defending the third, when actually when you're defending all the bot waves, um, you want some static defense. Sure, sure. Uh, do you salvage after you're done with waves? Um, it, it depends. I salvage after the second wave, um, but the third wave. Um, so the the turrets at the third wave can be reused to defend the fourth and the fifth wave. As exactly well. that that bottom right area. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, there's just a lot of things to focus on constantly, and it's so much more about map awareness and uh, build order awareness for Swan than anyone else, because all the other commanders have something that is almost consistent. Like Rainer, I mean, all the hero commanders have hero commanders. Um, Karax has the Spear of a Dune. Um, you know, even like Abathur has toxic nests and stuff like that. And then Alarak has his ascendants, which just wreck everything. Everyone else has some cool things to make him push through. Maybe um, but I think Swan and Vorazun can have a little bit of a tough time, uh, at least early game, but Vorazun, I think, steamrolls a little bit faster sometimes. Swan, you really need to be focused very much on your build order and what you've got next because you don't have these really cool things besides the Ares drop that has a long cooldown between. Right, and remember to get the... Uh... Uh, the full mastery on the Ares cooldown. By the yeah, way. I, I was. I was, the whole time I was doing it. The last one I had it on a uh, thirty-four and twenty-six. Yeah, it's it's not. Uh, it's that's actually because I know you want to kill battle cruisers, right? Yeah, well, that's the that's the reason why you would have it on twenty-six. Yeah, but it's. I don't think it's as important because 
one of the main reasons is you find battle cruisers in like one every like 20 games maybe yeah probably like 10 games is closer to it yeah and if you're really going for a full real speed run and trying to get the very very best time it, it would you'd re-roll re you'd re-roll to the best the most optimum enemy composition i don't like doing that because i'm streaming because i don't want to just sit there and re-roll and re-roll and re-roll and like no no guys we're gonna have fun soon i swear yeah yeah the best comps are uh probably like the zerg roach one mm -hmm. um uh the protoss immortal ones are actually pretty difficult because they can immortals. be for sure especially yeah, if, when you have your tanks um, and like I, I don't necessarily mind the gateway comps, but sometimes there's like crazy amounts of storm, and yeah. unless you have like crazy long range or stuff like you know, Alarak's always good for most any single comp, especially with his orb. There's like certain commanders where like you know, if you're a Rainer and you don't have good pre pre splits and good splitting when you those storms hit, or if you don't pull your like small bit of your army forward to deal with those things. Um, preemptively, then you're going to lose a lot of your army really quick, even if you have enough immortals. I'm sorry, not immortals, um, marauders. Right. Um, yeah, so actually, like, the star, uh, the starport, um, or the stargate um, compositions are not as bad. Mm -hmm. um, and the dark templar um, wave is not as bad either. Yeah. Because uh, um, you can just defensive matrix your um, your science vessels, and then nothing they have can touch you. Yeah. Because it's such a weak composition overall. Sure, sure. All right, well, that was some good information. We're going to go back to uh, solo co-op now, uh, but I don't think there's any questions in chat. I just figured I'd ask real quick whether or not, but I, I don't think I've seen anybody necessarily chomping at the bit to ask questions. I think we covered most of it ourselves. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to do the same run right now, just to... Yeah, Because, cool. like, time before sucked. I, um, I got... I actually, like, got pretty close. I, no, I actually, like, got a really good time on this. Mm -hmm. But uh, I lost, like, a bot. Like, oh, sure. As I was finishing it off. Um, so I'm going to redo this. <laughs> There's a question. How do you brutal with only drones? <laughs> what? How do you play a brutal mission with only drones? You don't. You, like, uh, you a move them. Yeah, you a move them. I actually did do a casual run with nothing but Artanis's uh, probes. It was pretty fun. It was also uh, yeah. Uh, Can you beat casual with only probes? Well, so I, I did a random mission because I just wanted to mess around. I ended up getting the shuttle launch, um, so I had to build cannons to take care of the shuttles. But I, I had a partner that basically did nothing, and I did it pretty well. It takes forever to kill um, a big red or a hybrid. It takes forever right. to kill them. So it takes a while, uh, especially because you can only get shield and armor upgrades. You cannot get any attack upgrades. If they got, got up to like eight attack, it wouldn't be so bad. But they stuck, oh, right. they're stuck at five yep. because they well, can't get attack upgrades. Yeah, you'd definitely be effed. Yeah. All right, um, I'm gonna start my run. Um, I'll watch you do your run, and uh, we can we can race to see who beats this first. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. Thanks for that, man. Um, have a good one. All right, see ya. See ya. All right, everyone, we're back, and we're back. Donnie Vermilion.